life of unity life of salvation life of peace and love a life of tribulations but many other afflictions of the righteous but you promise to deliver so help me run the race the race of life help me run the race That's your memory verse. I have eaten your word in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Hello! Come on, Dad. How are you, my angels? Uh, so, how was the school today? It was fine, not too much at school. Why? I the teachers not yet back to work? The work to work continue, so we were told. <sighs> that was the meaning of the work to do. You forgot, remember mommy explained to us last week. Maybe I was not there or not paying attention, but I want that to explain it. Work to rule means staying at your desk, not doing anything. The workers do that when they are on strike. That's why the teacher stayed away from the classroom. Did you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Is that supposed to be the welcome home greeting for my wife? Okay, welcome dear. But did you hear her? It's high time we check out of this country. Nothing is working. My dear wife, why are you always saying this? Checking out of this country is not the solution to the problem of the country. We need to stay in together and salvage it. Hey. Hi, 
John? What's going on? You're not looking yourself. Nothing really. What were you thinking? Just tired. Oh, I can understand. Too much work overnight, right? <laughs> Patience. Not what you are thinking anyway. What was I thinking? I know your mind may be thinking white. Okay, you make a guess. Excuse me. Hello, Chief. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right with you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, can I invite you for lunch? So I can have the privilege to tell you what I think you think I was thinking. Yes. Thank you, Peter. John, be careful. I thought you said the company was organizing a dinner to welcome me. Why is the place empty? Well, I, on behalf of the company, organized the dinner. Sorry, I can't wait for this dinner. Today is our AMTS in the church. And what's that? Aspiring minister teaching school. So? See, not that I don't want to have this dinner with you, but... So? Go on and have dinner with me. As of the last time I checked, there can always be another Wednesday. And there can always be another AMTC or whatever you call it. Okay. Thanks. Of married with two kids. Perfect information. Mm. So, how is the family? Well, two lovely children and a beautiful wife. And you are a handsome, aspiring young man. Thanks for the compliments. Since when have you been working as an accountant? Well, about 10 years now. I got my charter when I was 25, working for Desmond Group of Chartered Accountants. And why did you leave? I wanted international recognition, and the company was not ready to send me, so. Oh my god! It's 9 p.m. So? What should I tell my wife? Excuse me. this afternoon? Something has been bothering my mind for some time now. And I think I need to find solution to it this week. So? Share it. I might just be of help. Two weeks ago I had a dream. In the dream, I saw a lady burning in fire. She was in a very serious pain. And the funniest thing was that the fire refused to consume her. I was watching a place without being able to do anything. 
You see, when I came out of the dream, I asked God, what is the meaning of this? And what was the answer? God told me that's how people born in hellfire. Hmm. I hope I was not the lady you saw in your dream. Well, I could not figure out the face, really. Never mind. I don't really believe in all of those trash, or what you call sermon. As for me, hell or no hell, I have to enjoy myself here. Hmm? Lunch? I'm still waiting for Nurse Julia to come and take over. But it's already 2 o'clock. She should be on her way. Okay. She said she would be going to embassy today. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hello. Uh-huh. What's the good news all about? Tell me now. You mean the visa is out? Praise God! In fact, I'm waiting to see you. But remember to come along with chicken labs and the red wine. In 30 minutes time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ma, that is no Julia speaking. She said our visa is true, which means she will be traveling abroad very soon. Which means I'm no more going home. We are going to do the heating together, both the chicken and the red wine. As your lot she pleases, Ma. Stop it. Uh, Don't do it yourself. Huh? Hello. Dreams come true. And what is that? It never is. Trust me. Hey, hey. Have you people been jumping around? See how you are sweating. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so your letter of adaptation is finally out. Yes. <laughs> ah, God, you are good. Children, hmm. your mommy will soon be traveling to UK. Hey! <laughs> Mama, I'm going to follow you. No, not now. I'll come back for you people. Mommy, what of daddy? No, you see, all of you, you will go first, and I will later join you there. Hmm? This calls for celebration. <laughs> Thank God. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. You? Well, I'm thinking too. About what? Mm -hmm. Missing me already? Not only that. About the children. Well, the plan was that after my adaptation, three months, I'll come back for them. Yes, but before then. I'm sure you'll be fine with Aduke, of course. Well, I know that. But the problem is just... The workload in the office just of recent. Remember two years ago when I went for a course in Zaria for a month? You were able to cope with so I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay. The King John and uh, Sister Julia. Yes, sir. Have you prayed about this matter? And what did God say about it? This is an open door and we'll walk right through it. Hmm. Are you sure you heard God clearly on this matter? Yes, Pastor. Yes, sir. Well, 
I will need to pray about it myself. There is something that is not clear to me presently. And uh, maybe we will have to meet Upper Week Sunday after church service. But then, can I have a copy of the papers with me? Yes, sir. Pastor have seen? Well, I don't know. But let us just keep on waiting upon the Lord and preparing for the uh I mean for the journey. We shall do that. I hope he won't oppose it. No, no, no. Maybe Pastor just wants to make some inquiries. You know our pastor has travelled wide and far. I hope so. But dear, are you really sure you have heard from God? Because for me I've not had anything. Well, it's not that I've heard God specifically on this, but during our regular waiting on God every first day of the month, I gave God a fleece in my closet, as Gideon did in Judges chapter 6, that if he wants us to check out of this country, I should receive some news from any of my documents I've scattered here and there abroad. Well, according to Pastor Joshua, we need to pray more about this and get a clear confirmation. Let's hear what God will tell the pastor, and maybe he will be able to clear the air for us. Well, we need to pray more, to be sure of the situation. Okay, dear. But you are the head of the home, so continue to pray and wait on God on our behalf. But let me make it clear to you. I will not want this opportunity to slip off. That sounds like trying to twist the hand of God. You mean twisting the hands of God with prayers? Remember when King Balak sent for Balaam in the Bible? Pastor, pastor, this is our home, not church. Just keep praying. I pray God will speak to you very, very soon. So that we don't miss this opportunity. Okay. Wow. So, Nozilla will be leaving us very soon. She will be leaving us. Oh God. Well, that's true. I'm happy for Nos Juliet. I wish my own time comes soon. Me too. Do you know I've made several attempts to travel out of this country? Mm -hmm. hey, Matt, I wish I'm the one traveling out now. <sighs> Good day, ma. Please, I want you to remember me too. Hey, please, you guys, I'm not the one traveling here. It's true, but we are very close. Both of you are parties. Mm. You can easily convince her. Good. She will soon be here on our attention. We can present your best to her for this God day. The reason I told you to leave your papers with me is because I needed to make some check on the home to make sure it is a genuine one. From my investigation, this home, no nursing home in that world, is genuine. Uh, but uh, Sister Julia, while I was praying on this matter, I saw you in an immaculate outfit. But to your left chest area was a dark small spot. That means only one thing to me. And that is, you must be very careful in your steps over there. Make sure you walk in the midst of strong believers when you get there. I will give you a letter to a pastor who will assist you in settling in. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Daddy? Yes. Do you know what the pastor? 
pastor said this afternoon was a confirmation of the dream I had and it's giving me concern. What did he say and um, which dream? He said he saw you in a complete white robe and a dark spot by your left chest area. Oh, yes, I remember he said so. What was your dream? Just two nights ago, I had a dream. In the dream, I saw myself ministering on the pulpit in the church. And suddenly, an arrow was shot at me onto the left part of my chest. I woke up with a statue. And you didn't tell me this? Well, I really want to know the meaning of the dream first. And I've been asking God about it since then. Oh, you now know the meaning? Not really. But my concern is that the pastor said he saw the spots, the dark spots on the left part of your chest. And the, in my dream, I saw the arrow shot at me on the left side of my chest. This signal is not what we can ignore. I agree with you. My dear, we need to be vigilant in all our ways because I am sure the devil may want to steal our joy and our future one way or the other. I agree with you completely. So we need to be prayerful and watchful now that the Lord has given us an open door. Yes, yes. We must hold fast to our faith with our Lord Jesus Christ anywhere and anytime, no matter what happens. You are welcome, Mama. Ah, it's a long journey. Thank, thank God, God for the journey, mercy. Amen. Mm. Thank God. And when is she going? Oh, she'll be going exactly a week to this time. Eh? Mm. Ah, thank God. Mm. <laughs> thank God. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very eh? much. <laughs> so when I get home now, we see the children. Oh, no, 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 no. They are still in school, but they will soon be, they will soon be closing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Ah, the journey is uh. Ah, Mama. How are you? I'm very happy for you. Thank you. Happy to hear that. Oh, joy. As you come, Mona. Thank you. Are doing fine. And how are you doing over there? Yeah, I'm quite cool. Just a little. The main reason why I called you is that it's a good news. Yeah, I've got my work permit so the kids can join me. Oh, that's wonderful. They will be extremely happy about that news. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about me? Ah, don't be jealous. God has begun a good work with us. We we'll surely finish it. I need to go right now. Okay. Bye. Bye. I mean, this is a nice place for my kids when they come. They always come out. So you were reading the Bible for God so loved the world. So what's so amusing about that? Oh my God! What's that? I don't know the time is fast spent like this. So? I'm going to miss the AMTS. Now, what is AMTS? I've mentioned it before. Aspiring Minister's Teaching School. And so? It's very important to me. That's one of our midweek service. And I'm the one that is leading the prayer session one hour before the commencement of the program. That's no big deal. Moreover, if you miss the six o'clock, you can always join the seven o'clock program. Uh, okay, can I drop you? No. Why? Ah, 
You are heading towards Victoria Island, and I'm going towards Maryland. You don't have to tell me where I'm going. I've simply offered to take you to where you are going. Well, I'm bothered. Because our destinations are far apart. I understand. You do not want to stand the chance of being alone with me, right? Don't worry. I'm not going to force you to do what you don't want to do. And I just don't. You know, my name is Patience. I'm going to patiently wait until you willingly surrender yourself to my demands. <laughs> Patience, you are going to wait till eternity for that to happen. Hmm. You know, there's a book I read of recent. The title is The Vulture is a Patient Bird. I am a vulture. I will wait patiently. Yes, I'm coming. Hello, dear. Now it's you and me for the next two weeks. Do do. Gosh. What an axiom. Yes. I know that you know. I am only telling you there is no hiding place for the golden fish. And uh, what do you mean by that, please? Oh, you think I do not know all your tricks in avoiding me in Nigeria? All my invitation to you to attend several events, you always have one reason or the other not to honor them. Well, here, where will you run to? We are here for a training. Training for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Training. Yes, I know. But how do you think this training came about? How do you mean? Oh. Do you think it's your brilliance or your position that end you this trip? I thought of it and discovered that none of this qualifies me for this trip but i have a god that can turn anything anything <laughs> in my favor <laughs> i arranged this trip you did what you were to go to south africa at a later date and i was to come here with peter i instructed chief to switch it around and why did you do that? You want me to spell it out? I will. Tell me, for how long will you be avoiding me? Patience. Oh, that's my name. And I am patiently waiting. You will have to wait till kingdom come. Good. Because I won't have to wait too long. Uh, the kingdom is right here. What do you mean by that? Oh, aren't you one of those people going around and saying Jesus is coming soon? Which other kingdom are you talking about? I won't go down that road with you. Hmm. So, which road? 
are you going to? You know I am a Christian. And I'm married with two kids. So what? I can't have extramarital affairs with anybody, not even you. <laughs> good talk. Good, good talk. I have heard that again and again from men like you. But in a little while, they go down with us. Well, hi, I'm different. I have Jesus in me. And the Holy Spirit is inside me. Oh, here you go again. Honorable pastor. Oh, what do I call you? Now tell me. You are there in Nigeria and your wife is several miles away in United Kingdom. Do you know what she's doing there? No, 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 no. If it is Julia, I know Julia very well. I can't trust Julia. She can never defile our marriage bed. Which bed? Either in UK, Nigeria, or in this hotel room. Our marriage bed is marriage bed. We may be physically apart, but we are together in the spirit. Life of unity Life of salvation Life of peace and love Life of tribulations But many are the afflictions of the righteous but you promise to deliver So help me run the race The race of life Help me run the race Help me run the race But you know right now It is you and I in this room. Fishes, you know we don't have anything in common. John, on a serious note, you mean you do not cherish this body? Fishes, you are a beautiful woman. But this, your body, is meant for someone else. And God is going to provide him at the right time. There's no futuristic about this. You, you are the right... Stop it. And get out of my room. Get out. Out. You know, the elder says, do not leak a hot soup in a hurry. I will go now. But I will be back. Get out! God, thank you for this strength. But I need more of your grace for these two weeks. Help me, Lord. Hi, my name is Jimmy. Hi, I'm Julian. Nice to meet you. What Thank a wonderful you. name. Thank you. You must be really tired. Yeah, tired. Just coming back from work. I needed to get some things at the grocery stores and get home on time. Oh, okay. Do you work around here? No, I work in a nursing home at Dafford. Do you live around here at all? Um, I meet stay at Michel Avenue. Um, so, do, do you mind me drop in you off? Um, if I won't be taking you out of your way. I'm quite happy to do that. I'm oh. really happy to do that. So if you don't mind, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, that's so nice. Are you here with the family? Yeah, just me and my kids. Oh, what about um, your husband? He's still at home. Home as in, how do you home. mean home? Nigeria. Oh, so how do you cope? Well, God is helping me. I have wonderful kids and a very good neighbor. Okay, but... Yeah. 
that's 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 quite a fun distance between yourself and your husband. Well, thank you. Yeah, Is it that, that house? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The rays of light. Is it possible for me to get your I'm sorry, I really It's a shame. But um anyway, have a pleasant afternoon. Okay. Such a sweet, nice guy. Why didn't I give him my number now? I really hope we meet again. Heaven now, my own. What are you doing with me? Well, I traced you down here. You've got no hiding place. What's this? John, we barely have two days out of the two weeks we're spending in the US. And you have not looked at this body that I'm offering you free of charge. Are you sure you are man enough? What are you trying to say? Well, thank God I have two children. A boy and a girl. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what? Are you trying to suggest that I'm not the biological father of my children? You just said it yourself. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, dun. <laughs> well, thank God for science. DNA test is there for people like you to prove this. I do not need a DNA test. I only want you to prove to me tonight. <sighs> Patience. Your body is the temple of the living God. Oh, 
dare you go again. Whatever I say, you turn into preaching. Preach it on, Pastor. Who tells you I have a spirit or whatever you call it living in me? Your body consists of three parts. I only know of God having three parts. Trinity or something. What? Am I a God? Patience. So you know about Trinity? Sure. I was baptized, confirmed, but not confused. I used to go to church with my parents. They was not me from going to church. Oh. That's another story for another day. I'm sure you had real fun without your lover boy. Oof. I wish the boy will not play ball. You mean he cannot do? Each time I made a move. He was always talking about um, Jesus loves you, <laughs> your body is a temple of whatever. You mean that's what you have for two weeks? Two full weeks? My dear. Some other time he would say, Jesus, we soon arrest you. <laughs> arrest? When did Jesus become a police officer arresting people? Ask me, my friend. Oh. Ask me. I have told you. Let us take his case to Baba Daleru. No, no, no. I want to handle him naturally. But I guess he would not yield that easily. Trust me. I have never taken a no from anybody. I am beginning to enjoy the game is. Hey. Tell me something. It's a matter of time. Well, that's if he does not capture you first. What? Turn you to one of them. A born again. Born what? A born again, of course. Ooh. Oh, no, that's in your dream. Ah, uh, you'll be wearing those long, old-fashioned gowns, and you now carry Bible about. Repent! The kingdom of God is at hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's in your dream, my friend. Do do I look like one of them? The dresses won't even fit me. Uh -huh. They don't care whether it fits them or not. You just must not expose any part of your body, your chest, your legs. They call it temptation and sin. Now tell me, what's the essence in having all this endowment if you cannot flaunt it? Tell them. Whoosh. Anyway, let's change the topic. Um, your wish is my command. Um, lest I forget. I got allergy to sign for the payment of that lucky apartment. <laughs> so? He flew in from Abuja just to have a day with me. That's what he said. And then I gave him a wonderful time. I trust you. And as he was preparing to go, I went into the bathroom, applied Baba Daliru's charm on my lips. And that was it. Uh, my Cynthia, my Cynthia. <laughs> Uh, and now you don't want me to go. <laughs> oh, you think I like to share you with anyone? Not even with Ajia. You are so sweet. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll be back in two weeks. That's what you always say. And your two weeks now become two months. Anyway, remember I told you I won the bid for one of those apartments in the new Mojoin housing estate in Lekki. Hey, yeah, I remember, I remember. Uh, I want you to sign the paperwork for the apartment. <laughs> Cynthia, all this paperwork? Uh -oh. Just a few pages for you to sign now. Mikhail. Uh. Uh, get me a pen.
Um, Alaji. Eh? What about the check for the payment? <laughs> How much did you say the money is? Um, 25. 20 million, sorry, 20 million for the property. Um, 2.5 for the lawyer. And the closing cost, all about um, 24, 25 million. 24, 25 million. <laughs> 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 Nothing is too much of a <laughs> uh, Get me my checkbook inside that bag. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Alaji. Ah, thank you. You are so sweet. Thanks a lot. You too, you too. You are, you are only. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alaji. Um, um, Alaji, make sure your two weeks is two weeks. Ah, uh, uh, even if I don't come in two weeks, I will compensate you. No, 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 no. I don't want compensation. It's you I want. <laughs> it's who you want, Cynthia. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, thank you. I'll be here tomorrow. Thank you, Aladdin. Thank uh, I'll you. I'll be here tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, Cynthia. Thank you. Well, I have not for Aladdin. I said, I'm not going to go. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> so, check this out. Oh, so you are now a proud landlady at Lekki. Oh. Yes. And you know what? He even furnished the apartment to my taste. <gasps> you mean the stupid man gave you a signed blank check? Yeah. I hope you have left his account in the red. Ah, oh, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I cleared everything. Man. Yes, so. So, 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 girlfriend, when are we going to know? I want to go and see the house. Oh. At your convenience. I'm all yours. This Sunday. No problem. <laughs> Is today not your midweek service or what you call it? Yes, I'm on my way to the church. Or will you go with me? Please keep your invitation. Just wondering if I can drop you along the line. I'm going mm. that way. Hmm. That was very kind of you. Thank you. <sighs> now that you are here, can we go into the church together for the fellowship? Hey, Mr. Pastor. Have you ever seen where a bus conductor or the driver of a bus follows his passengers to their destination? What do you think of that? You mean about King John and the lady? Yes, of course. Sister Rose. Sometimes I wonder about some men, you know. Since his wife and children traveled, his housemaid and mother girl have been observing him. I didn't know you have been doing the same thing. The King John never used to come late for any service. But since his family traveled, I observe he will always come late. Most times, he's not even in intercessory prayer sessions. I was told today that I was to come and lead the prayer meeting. But he called the HOD to lead the meeting because he will be running late in the office due to office assignments. Office assignments indeed. Only God knows where he was coming from with that lady. He even had the F1 tree to allow her to drop him here. Can you imagine that? From what I hear, the lady is his colleague in the office, and she is a whore. I was even told that she sleeps with any man that comes away. Anyway, like the elders say, a sheep that follows a dog about will definitely eat feces one day. <laughs> Hello, sisters. No, Welcome, ma'am. Do you know if Dickin John is trying to witness to that lady? Sisters. Let's stop 
gossiping and backbiting in the house of God. It is a sin accusing people of what you are not sure about their affairs. Precious, I'm praying for you. And I know very soon God will arrest you. It will be a surprise to you yourself. Mr. Man, will you get down from this car or you bring my transport fare? Well, thanks for the ride anyway. My eyes are still closed. Get down before I... Father, I thank you for this beautiful day. I pray, Almighty God, that our deliberation today shall glorify your name. Amen. This emergency meeting become necessary because of the issues posed against the King John. The information reaching the Board of Ministers from various quarters about the King John's involvement with a wanting woman in the society has been confirmed with evidences both locally and abroad. With evidences, Pastor? Yes, my dickiness. The period Dickin John was away in America with his female colleague, Dickin Bojuri, was also in the States on a business trip. Unknown to Dickin John, Dickin Bojuri caught him and his female colleague in a romantic mood on camera. Not two or three, but on several occasions. The Kimbo jury caught them on camera? Yes, they were caught on camera. And when I knew they were in Houston, Texas, I hired a spy to follow them closely. Here are some of the clips I got as reports. Please don't mind their amateur shooting. You mean your spy saw her enter his room frequently? Yes. How long was she spending in his room? About 10 to 15 minutes. Did they spies see both of them in the room? Ah. Uh, by the way, why all these questions now? Ah. No. Pastor, we are talking of defamation of one of our brother's characters here. So, I believe we need to be very careful on this matter. Uh, are we saying that the video clips are not enough to prove that, uh, bro, John, uh, sorry, uh, I mean uh, Dick King John's ways of life since the wife left have left a lot to be desired? Sure, to some degree. Pictures or movies don't tell lies. 
My question remains unanswered, which is, the Kimbojuri spies saw and captured on camera what happened outside buildings. I am now asking if they equally saw what happened behind the closed door. <laughs> he said the two were inside the room for more than 10 minutes. Doing what? Well, uh, Dickness, Rebecca, you know, as well as everyone here knows, that five minutes is more than enough for an indecent action to occur between a male and a female staying together in an obscure place. Yes, I know, Pastor. But the deacon is here. Are we not going to give him a chance to defend himself? Well, um, Deacon John, you can say whatever you have to say before the board of the ministers. Well, I have to thank you, Pastor, for giving me the opportunity to speak. But, sir, I'm highly surprised with the level of busybody and backbiting going on in the house of the Lord. What? Ah. I will not sit here to be insulted by Bro or Dick King John. I demand an immediate apology from him. Ah. Well, I tell them my apology, my words, or anyone. But my statement is based on what I am saying in the church of God. But I think what we need right now is Brother John's word to disprove the accusation against him and not any detrimental statement. Well, all words the King Bujuri and his spies saw and captured on camera, they are true. But what happened behind the closed door is left to the third person that sees all things and is the judge of all. Well, since bro, or the King John had refused to defend himself, what are we still waiting for? Hmm. Ah, uh, the King John, since you cannot say anything contrary to the allegation posed against you, by Deacon Bojuri. I hereby inform you of the verdict of the members of this board that you are no longer representing this assembly as a deacon anymore. And your position as the chairman of the board of deacons and deaconesses in this church is shifted to the Kimbojuri, who has been your deputy for the past two years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Life of unity, life of salvation, life of peace and love, life of tribulations, but many other afflictions of the righteous. But you promised to deliver So help me run the race The race of life Help me run the race
Help me run the race yeah. Oh, yeah. Life of unity Life of salvation A life of peace a love, a life of tribulation. Hi, Julia, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, same here. Oh, you yeah. know, I really wanted to say thanks for the other day, but I realized we didn't exchange numbers. Yeah, actually, that's true. You know, I asked for your number the other day, but um, you didn't give me your number. Uh, you know how it is. We're meeting for the very first time, and um, you know. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Eh, no problem. And I'm, I'm, I was a stranger, but now I'm not a stranger anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, if if you catch it, I can give you my own number. Okay, I wouldn't mind. Um, it's zero seven zero seven nine zero Just to get something at the store, I you really cajoled me to get here. No, I didn't. I didn't cajole you. What what I did was um just to be able to um, catch up and get to know each other more. I'm supposed to be at home with my kids. Let me go there. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. How are you? I've left the store. I'm actually somewhere in town. I'll soon be around. Okay, take care of your brother. I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll buy my love. Yeah, so I would like to ask you two questions, if you don't mind. Um, uh, okay, go on. The first one, are you a Christian? Um, no, I'm not a Christian, but I do go to church. I've, I had a very bad experience with people calling themselves Christian, wow. and um, so I don't believe in that. But I do go to church anyway, and um, the experience I had was actually um, with uh, a lady. Okay. Um, actually, I've been in this country now for over 10 years, and I'm, okay. I'm, I'm British, wow. and I've got my residency as well. But um, I met this lady and um, we fell in love and um, we ended up getting married. Okay. Um, but at the end of the day, I never knew that the, the lady actually had an ulterior motive. But after she got uh, what she wanted, she left me. So everything actually just went down the drain and um, I can't believe I'm no more with her because I really love that lady. Oh, so sad. Do you have any kids? Oh, we did. We had um, kids together, and um, 
because of the law of this land when you have kids um, you have to um, have to split your property okay yeah she, she has to custody and all that exactly yes. I had to split my properties and uh, belongings that I've worked for okay. into two you know and that's I've got a very sad. small portion to myself you know you can just think about that and that's the reason why I don't when people say they are Christian I'm sorry but I don't really believe in that and I don't sad. believe in that that's and your second question um you already answered it in your first question oh okay just going to ask okay yeah i was married but uh Actually, um, don't you think it's, it's going to be nice for you to um, know my place? Oh no, I told you I left my kids. They are home alone all by themselves. I need to be home. Plus, it's five something. I need to get to the church. But it's not, it's not too far. It's just um, on our way to your place. It's just, um, you know, not too far at all. Just for you to know the place and that's it. Okay, okay. Just to know the place. Just to know the place. Okay, that's okay. All right, good. Afternoon, Dickie. <laughs> Ma, you know I'm no longer a deacon in the church. As long as I am concerned, you are a deacon, even higher than that. Well, ma, we have to obey the spiritual authority. Good talk, my deacon. I still respect you for whom you are. Because many men will not come back to the church after what happened to you. Well, that's for those who don't know why they come to church. Or they don't know their position in Christ. You are right. Many come to church for just position so that people will see and run after them for material things. It is quite unfortunate that those of us that are supposed to show good examples, we are the ones that are doing the other things. You are right. The politics in churches nowadays are worse than what is going on in the world. Let us just continue to pray for the revival of the church. Anyway, let's leave the church alone for now. I just want to encourage you to intensify your efforts in joining your family very soon. Thank you very much, Ma. The process is in the last stage. Praise God! Hallelujah. I am happy for you, my dear Dickie. Thank you, Ma. Just keep this to yourself. Sure, sure, sure. Just between the two of us. Good. Mm. The Lord will help us. Let's continue to pray for the revival Bye, of the church. Dickie. Thank you, Ma. But Jimmy, you know I'm not supposed to be doing this with you, right? How do you mean? I told you, I'm married. I have two kids. My husband is in Nigeria. <laughs> you know the thing is, you even need this more than I do, you know? Your husband is in Nigeria, you are here. So, it's no big deal. Oh, please. What's the time? Um, This is 6.45, that's quarter to seven. What? Yeah, yeah, quarter to seven. Goodness gracious. I told you I was supposed to be at a fellowship. Plus, my kids are home alone. What's the big deal about this fellowship thing? It's, is it the first time you're missing the fellowship? Yeah, except when I'm on duty. But today, I'm not on duty. Now I have to lie to the pastor. Oh, here we go again. You don't, you don't need to lie to the pastor. All you need to do is just put one or two stories together and um, you know, make sure they are actually in line. And you tell the pastor. Please get me home. My kids are home with them. I need to finish dressing anyway. And apart from that, your kids, they should be fine. Someone should be taking care of them now. Until 
Until I call you. Hi, Jimmy. Where are you? Um, where am I? Where am I? Um, I'm in Manchester at the moment. Manchester? What are you doing there? Um, I went to uh, Manchester for um, a quick um, contract job. Oh, okay. Enjoy yourself. Um, I won't be able to make it down because um, where I am right now, I'm based on the arrangement regarding the, um, the park. We were meant to go together with the kids. But that's not nice. That was not the arrangement. But okay. Work first before you join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work first, you know. I need to make some money. But yeah, that's fine. But I'll make it up. I'll make it up. No problem. You just take care. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Sure. Bye. So, Manchester. 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 Go. Who cares? I'm trying to lay foundation on my own moves. I want to carry the kids. Uh, Manchester. No, in Manchester. In my house. <laughs> How was your journey? Ah, bad <laughs> It was fine. Ah, I mm. will. Uh, <laughs> could delay one more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. So how are you two? I'm um, fine, God. Well, eh? your seat now. Eh, don't worry. Yes. Mm. So you are now preparing your journey to our brother, Yes. yes. Ah, immediately John goes to join his family. This is where we go. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, say my okay. eh? Thank you very much. Bye bye you. Don't worry. Uh, the family is not at all. Uh, uh, say what? Don't worry. Thank no. you. Oh, say bye bye you. Oh, say bye bye. 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 Oh, say bye uh, go on. I'm waiting. My husband will be coming in two weeks. So? Good for your husband and um, good for the kids. How about me? Uh, you, Julia. You're mine. You're mine, darling. You're mine. I'm not yours. I'm married and I have two kids. I have a family. Okay. This is your so-called husband that is coming from Nigeria. Do you think he can actually, you know, satisfy you the way... Jimmy? Hold it right there. Hold it. That's my husband you're talking about. He's the father of my kids and my husband. Any day, any time, he's going to satisfy me. Really? Yes. Okay, fine. But what, what me I'm asking for is being able to see you. You know, I'm not saying I want to see you every day, but at least I should be able to see you at least once a week. That's not too much. You know that's not possible. My husband should not see me doing this. Don't you get? What if your husband sees you doing this? What's the big deal? See who's talking. What did you do to you? The woman who you caught cheating with. Don't worry, if your husband sees you, yeah, fine. Is that the end of the world? If he sees you, fine. If he finds out, fine. If he wants to divorce you, fine. I'll take you. I don't want to divorce. I want to be with my kids. And I want to be with my family. Okay, but at least we can walk things around. At least see you once a week. Okay, let's see how it goes, but... Okay, let's see what happens. Seated at exit row, so can be requested to read the notice concerning 
for that wonderful song. And I pray that the anointing of the Lord will never cease over you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is time for us to welcome the new world. We don't have new people in amongst us, we have visitors. People come to see Jesus for the first time in their life. And so we now pray that as they come, the church will welcome them. May you come forward, please. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. We thank God for that. Amen. Oh, this is beautiful. You know what? One of them is the husband of our dear sister, Sister Julia. Oh, you are welcome, my brother. Brother John, you are welcome. All the way from Nigeria. What a wonderful thing. You are welcome among us. God bless you, sir. Notice that after the first night that I arrived, that I had a very good night together in bed, you have been so cool to me and withdrawn yourself. Don't you miss me for the past one year that you have been separated? I'm glad you know it's over a year ago we met as husband and wife. Yes, but is that why you are so cold to me? Thank God you know you've been away. We've been apart for over a year. It's just me and the children and work. I'm used to sleeping alone now. But now that I'm here... <clears throat> I'm glad you are here. At least we enjoyed ourselves the first night you came. But nothing has really changed. When I come back from work, you expect me to come back and do night duty again? My dear, but you know quite all right that I also have kept myself very busy at work. That was part of the agreement we, we reached before you travelled down to UK. Nobody did the same we didn't agree. Apart from that, I've heard a lot about you and patients and other women in Nigeria. Ah. You mean you still don't believe my faithfulness in this marriage? You mean, you don't believe all the emails I sent to you to defend myself concerning this matter? But the church says stripped you of your position. I'm sure they did a lot of investigation before they did that. I'm just being human here. I was told she was you were parading yourself with her, even in the US. And how they've seen both of you in Nigeria in different places. Are you saying that you don't believe what I told you? That there is nothing between me and patients? We are just professional colleagues in the office. And she still dropped you at the airport. Gave you a goodbye hug and kiss. <sighs> wow! Your informants have really done well. But I am surprised that you hired some people to be trailing me around. Point of correction, I have never hired anyone to train you. How do you get your information? Like I said, people just tell me what is going on. They call me up to keep me updated. <laughs> and uh, I'm one of their targets? They also told me you come late to programs in the church and patients will drop you. Wow, wonderful. Brilliant. But let me tell you one thing. All these informants, they are envy of our achievements and they want to pull this home down. Tell me all this are not true. Well, I won't dispute that because they have really done a good job. Better than what some of these police officers will ever do. But let me ask you a question. 
Whose report will you believe? The report of the busybodies or your husband? Who put me on the spot here? I'm not going to answer that. It doesn't matter to me uh, if you answer it or not. But one thing I believe is that I believe in the judgment of God. And I know his judgment will surely prevail. Judgment. Rays of eternal peace and love yeah, Make I run the rails Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Make I run the rails Help me, oh Lord, oh Lord Make I run the Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, Julia. Do you know I've actually missed you so dearly? Hello? Hello? He hello? Oh. Is, is it because your husband is around? That's why you've not been calling me or picking my calls. Is anyone there? Um, I thought I had my phone ring. Yes. The person says wrong number. Wrong number? The rays of life Help me run the rays Give me a plastic chair. Oh, thank you. Um, get me a wine glass. Hello, girl. Hey, girlfriend. Sit down. What's all this? Nothing. Just reading. Uh, am I in the right place? <laughs> sure. And this? You want some? Me? I don't take things like this. You know my stuff. All right, um, Joy, please get me a bottle of wine. That's better. What is wrong with you? Nothing. You told me you were coming on Wednesday. I didn't see you. Oh. I tried your line severally. It wasn't going. Um, I'm sorry. It's just that right now, I'm in a new world. A new world? OK, here is it. This? Me? You know I don't take things like this. It's not my stuff. I don't want that off. Don't bother to open it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay?
so you've been arrested? <laughs> yeah, arrested by the most high. But you know, I'm enjoying it. The peace and joy that I have, you can't understand it. Do you mean we didn't have peace before now? Somewhat. I know we have acquired so much wealth and influence. But I've soon realized that those things we were running after can disappear in a moment. But what I have right now, no one can take it from me. Let's see how long you will last in this your new found life. And I'll be glad to welcome you back to the real world, pretty soon. I'm sure you mean the other way around. That's in your dreams. It's not possible. I'll see you when you're back in your senses. Cynthia! Wait now, let me see you. Has it come to that? Cynthia! My dear brother in Christ, I bless the name of the Lord for the day I met you and what God made you to do in my life. Some people come our way and we wish they never did. Some come our way and we wish they disappear the same way they came. Some come our way and we wish they never go away. Brother John, you are in the last category. The good thing the Lord made you to do in my life, I will broadcast it to the world if I have the opportunity. Despite all my excessive behavior to bring you to the corrupt world, you stood your ground and remained faithful to God. Since the day you left the country, it was like you took away part of me. I cried and missed you greatly. Almost every day I get to the office, I wished I found you there with your beautiful smile. So one Wednesday afternoon, two months ago, as I came into the office and looked at your position, the urge to see you was so high that I went to my desk and started to cry. Then I heard a voice said to me, go to the church where you used to drop John, and you will find him there. 
Without thinking twice, I drove straight to the church and parked outside, waiting to see you come into the church. Then this same voice spoke to me again, look at the top of the church building. When I looked, I saw the cross and my heart skipped and stopped breathing for some moment. There and then I broke down, fell on my knees and my life was transformed immediately. That night I saw the awesome power of God. On my way back home, as I got to the third mainland bridge, there was a terrible accident on the road. A car exactly like mine ran into a trailer and was completely crushed. Then the voice came to me that was planned for you. The enemy thought it was your car. Your obedience to the call of God made your car to be covered with the precious blood of the Lamb, and the devil could not identify your car. Throughout the week, I was shaking like leaves on a tree. I am so grateful to you because you did not mess around with me. Rather, you showed me the way to righteousness. I went to the church to find you, but I found the person you always talked to me about. I found the Prince of Peace, the lover of my soul. I found the great I am who turned me away from destruction and brought me to his marvelous light. I am deeply sorry for the suffering you went through in the church for my sake, for a sin you did not commit. Hmm. I am glad the Lord vindicated you. Dickness Rebecca told the pastor about me and the pastor called me for a chat with him. After I shared my life with him and how you never gave in to my pressure, he apologized for allowing his ministers to mislead him to fire you as a deacon in the church. I told him, Brother John, he will never be daunted by position or no position in the church. My regards to your family. I hope your wife knows she is so blessed to have been married to a faithful man like you. So John was innocent. Such a wonderful daddy. Thank you. What's wrong? You're looking dull. Um, I woke up with this headache. Headache? Yeah. Can I call the GP? Uh, no, no. By the time I sleep some more, I'll be fine. fine. Sure? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let me get the kids ready for devotion. Hey, can we join you soon? The result of the test is out. And uh, you two, you have the same virus that was detected in your wife's blood. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Doctor, what type of virus is that? Uh, it's a new strain of virus and it's called um, IKV. Huh. It has matured in her 
and that's why her condition is critical. As for you, we have to attack it so as to need it at the boarding stage. God. But, uh, doctor, my wife is critically here in the world. What is the chance of, of, of her survivor? We are doing everything possible to save her life. But I really can't see. Two weeks off. But you just patience. But you just came back from your uh, four, 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 four weeks. Ah, no, I know, I know, I Three months ago. Yes, Chief. <laughs> So why asking for uh, uh, another two weeks? You know this is uh, a very crucial period in our business. Chief, just that this is very important and personal to me. I, I just have to leave. It's all right. If you say it's, uh, it's, it's personal, uh, Okay, but you you know this period is uh, very, very, very very busy busy for, for for us. Living for two weeks means a a, a, a lot to the to, to the to the to the to the, to the, to the company. Chief, I actually also have total vibes. Uh, just just that is very important that I leave. Otherwise. It will affect my productivity. Okay then. All right. Uh, you, you you can take your two weeks off, but it it it, it will be with doctor from your 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 next annual leave. That's fine by me. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. See much of you these days since you began this your new born again lifestyle. I'm okay. Um, it's not been easy, but I'm enjoying it. I've been quite busy though, you know, programs, fellowships, uh, prayer time. You know. Oh. Hey, uh, sorry. Mm. So why have you come today? Uh, remember the last time we spoke, I think about three weeks back, you informed me that your house at uh, 4006 was empty. Yeah, it's still empty. Um, I would like to make use of it for two weeks. Why? Nothing. I just need a place where I can be alone, quiet, no distraction, no phone calls, no visitors, not even you. What's wrong with your house? Nothing. Oh. Cynthia, I just want a place I can be alone. A place no one will come looking for me there, you know. Oh, are you going to give it to me? It's all yours. Oh, thanks. So, how much is my bill? Huh? 
you're going to pay me for using my apartment. Look, Cynthia, this is business. It, it's not about friendship. This is purely business. How much am I paying you? I can say that this is your born again life has actually turned you into something else. Cynthia, I'll transfer some money into your account, period. I hope one of these days you will also come and join me. Uh, 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 uh. I'll get you the kids. Hmm. Cynthia. <sighs> My Father and my God, I've come to you, O oh Lord, and I ask that, Lord, you will forgive me of all my sins. Lord, that you will cleanse me of every sin. Father, I ask that you will purify me. Lord, the cleansing power in the blood of Jesus. Father, let it be my portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, that you will help me to stand in the right way with you. Father, Lord, I ask that you will be my help. I invite you again and again that you will take over my life. Lord, I declare I have no power of my own to carry out this assignment. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Please help me. Create in me a new heart, O oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a new heart, O oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. The joy of thy salvation and renew a right spirit within me. Glory be to God in thy est. Amen. Glory be to God in thy est. Amen. For your mercies endure forever. Amen. For your mercies endure forever. Amen. Who is like unto thee? Oh. I plead for your mercy. Mercy over Brother John. Mercy over the children of Brother John. Mercy over every member of his family, oh Lord. Father, please have mercy. Lord, in your mercy, heal Brother John. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I plead for your mercy. Lord, have mercy, oh God. Father, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, I need your mercy. I need your mercy, Lord. 
Merci ah. Lord. Merci Lord. Sorry, how are you feeling now? I thank God. Um, a lady came last night while you were sleeping, then she said she didn't disturb you. Uh, did she give you a name? Um, no, she only dropped this card for you. Are you okay? Oh, no. You would have full of coming up. You wanted to see her? She is a dickness in our church. Okay. Nas Yes? Are you are you a Christian? I go to church. Why? That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm asking if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Why? I want to tell you how sweet it is to be in Christ. Thank you. I have some other things to do. How sweet is this pain of yours? When you have just few hours, hours left to die. Lord, have mercy on your daughter. children of Israel got to Jericho. You instructed them, Lord, to walk around the wall of Jericho once every day for six days. 
And on the seventh day, they should go round that wall seven times. And then, Lord, you brought down the wall of Jericho with a shout of praise. Father, this is my seventh day. Lord, I pray that you will wrought a miracle in the life of your son, Brother John. Father, that you will heal him miraculously. The people may ascribe glory unto your holy name. Father, he had been a faithful brother and a faithful son of yours. Lord, I plead that you will reward his faithfulness. Lord, that you will heal him, O oh God. Lord, you will show yourself strong and mighty on behalf of Brother John. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God, I pray, not my will, O oh God, let your will be done. Let your will be done, O oh God. Father, let your will be done. Father, let your will be done. <sighs> Lord, John's time is up. He must come with me now. No, he's not going with you. Why not? He is a sinner. And you cannot have a sinner on your side. He left his wife exposed for a long time. Well, you deceived her with material things. I warned her through her husband. And I also warned her through her pastor. But both times, you blocked her hairs. Yes! It was easy for me to block her ears because she loved the good things of this world. And I used those things to get her. But John, John was always contented with everything you provided for him. So it was difficult for me to get him. I used patience to get at him. Still, John would not yield. Ha! Ah. You can see he's faithful. You cannot catch this one because he is innocent of all your schemes. But Lord, he is my main target. Ah. And why is he your main target? Because I know you have ordained him to be a great evangelist before he was born. And he has been going around to depopulate my kingdom. So I must destroy him. Well, you are right. Before he was born, he has been ordained to be a great minister for me. And that mission he will surely accomplish. No! He is a liar. He colluded with his wife to tell lies to his pastors and their children. So he must be punished. He is a liar. Well, I remember all that. And that lie was the loophole I found in your hedge of protection around him to inflict him with this IKV disease. Because it is written in your word that all liars shall have their part in the lake that burneth with brimstone and sulfur. And why are you using this IKV disease? Well, when I discovered that uh, those inflicted with HIV and cancer diseases are either coming to you for healing or you will heal them before I get at them. And uh, I have to think of introducing another instant killer virus. This one will kill them before they come to you. Because what pays my kingdom is that they die before receiving you. It is written that there is no repentance after death. Well, you also remember that the prayer of the righteous availeth much. <laughs> you can see someone standing in the gap for him. Ah, ah, this one, ah, ah, precious, this one, <laughs> she's a new believer. She just they come from my camp to you a few weeks ago. 
our prayers can never be strong enough to deliver him from my camp. Well, the number of years does not matter. What matters is the level of commitment, the level of dedication, and faithfulness. And all this I have found in her. Lord, this is a new comfort. Our prayers cannot be strong enough. She cannot pray enough to, 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 to deliver him. Enough. <gasps> Both of them are now mine. They've been washed clean by the blood of the Lamb. Ah. What a loss! What a loss! What's what's going on here, Lord? God, what's what's going on? Oh. Go home and see John at the hospital. Go and see John in the hospital immediately. Go and change my dress. Life of unity. Life of salvation. Life of peace and love. Life of tribulations. But many are the afflictions of the righteous. But you promise to deliver So help me run the race The race of life Help me run the race And that this is a miracle. Oh, help me run the race. Help me run the race. Patience, I'm healed. The Lord has healed me. Ah, yes, God has done it. This is wholesome. Yes, yes. This is truly God at work. Mm. Completely healed. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Doctor. Doctor, Doctor, I'm healed. Oh, God. Oh, I'm healed. Look at my skin. I'm healed. Thank you. This is really awesome. What happened? Doctor, I was in a serious pain. And in my agony, I cried to the Lord. And I perceived a hand touching me and claiming my body. Before I knew what was happening, my skin just changed. I was cleaned up, completely healed. And the pain disappear. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This is wholesome. I have heard that God performed healing miracles, but I never believed it. 
But now this is happening in my hospital. And surely I will broadcast it. Thank you, Jesus. This is great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ah, patience. I called your number several times without getting through. I thought maybe you have turned your back at me at my trying period. Uh, Mr. John, we will talk about that later. But, but doctor, you rem I, I remember a story in the Bible where um, one uh, Nama was asked to go and wash himself in a river. And the Bible said his leprosy got healed immediately and his skin became like that of a baby. Doctor, this is... Yes. I heard of that story when I used to go to church while I was still a youth. But now this is happening under my roof. Ah, doctor. Hey, doctor, C -c can he go home now? Uh, okay. L let's see my office first. Oh, sure, sure, doctor. This is great. Thank you. God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for your mercy. Oh. But many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you promise. Praise the Lord. God, you can praise God better. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. As you all know that today is our testimony day specially organized for our beloved brother John. But before I will invite him for his testimonies, I want to invite our beloved sister that will have to share a personal life experience with us before we listen to Brother John. Join me as I invite Sister Patience. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. People of God, I am so delighted to stand before you to share my personal life experience. Um, standing before you this afternoon is or was a professional prostitute. Permit me to use that word. But I'm happy to tell you today that Jesus Christ had redeemed me and turned my life around. A brief about my background I came from a humble background. My father was um, a postmaster in our village. Although he was trying his best, but I mean, there was just no money. And so for all his children, our education came to an end at the end of primary school. Just as we were resigning to faith, a man, so-called a philanthropist volunteered to help my friend, my childhood friend, and also extended the same help to me through our parents. We were all very happy. Little did I know that it was the beginning of my journey into prostitution. A few months after our graduation from secondary school, my good childhood friend and classmate, 
Cynthia came to me rejoicing. <laughs> oh, oh Congrats, I'm thank so you. happy oh, for you. Thank you. I thank had you go to your admission letter yes, last so. week. Yes, so. I also ah. got my yes today. Oh, congratulations. Thank I'm you. happy for you. Please go for celebration. Both of us in the same university again. That is true. But Cynthia, I have gotten the admission, okay. Now, where is the money for me to go to the university? You know where my two elder brothers are right now. Patience, I understand. I know that's why you didn't come to tell me that you've gotten your admission later. Would it not have been better not to have the admission and find something else doing than to hold the letter in my hands and can do nothing with it? I understand you, my friend. You know, I'm also not from a rich family. Mm -hmm. But my mom says she's going to talk to her uncle. Who will speak with a philanthropist? Who is going to sponsor me? Ah, I'm happy for you, my friend. I'm, I'm really, really happy for you. Thank you. I wish you success in your But university. you know I can't leave you behind in this village. What are you saying? Ah. You know I don't know anybody in my family now that can take up my education. Ah. There's nobody in my family now. Mm. I think I'll talk to my mom. Yeah. Yes. To talk to our uncle and see if this philanthropist can sponsor both of us. Ha, my friend, don't let my bad luck affect your life. Oh. Don't you know the man may because of that decide not to sponsor you again? Why will he do that? He might say your mother's uncle is asking for too much. See, you just go. If God wants me to go to university in life, he will open another way for me. Come on, don't talk like that. There's no sin in trying. Hey, are you sure? I'm sure, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah? Cheer up. Everything was going on well until the end of our first year in the university. How are you patients? Fine sir. Uh, get ready for a three day assignment in Abuja tomorrow. By 9 a.m. a car will come and pick you up straight to the airport. And at Abuja too, another vehicle will come and pick you at the airport. Um, what's our... Everything you will need is already there. Just take some personal effects that will last you for 30 days. Okay, sir. See you when you are back. Life of unity, life of salvation, life of peace and love, life of tribulations, but many are the afflictions of the righteous. But you promise to deliver So help me run the race The race of life Help me run the race Cook <laughs> up a story. Something like you had a meeting with a client here with some officers from the Lagos office. Look, tell her anything. Just as I was trying to put the horrible weekend in Abuja behind me. 
a call came on a Thursday evening. Next week, Friday, a driver will be coming for you. Coming for me for what? Remember your education, my dear. <laughs> Are you still there? Yes, Chief. You had better be. Prepare for the weekend. <laughs> Life of unity. Life of salvation. A life of peace and love. A life of tribulation. Yes, Thank you. Guess what, Guess. Yes. You know I'm bad at guessing. I'll just hit the nail on the head. Okay. Chief Desmond is inviting us for a party in Abuja this weekend. A party for the weekend? Yes. Abuja for the weekend will be a change of environment for us, isn't it? Uh, but I, I won't be able to go for it. But why? We have a group project, two shops are by Upper Way. I won't be able to go. That means I'm not going. Please. No, nah, you just go. There will always be another time. Go, eh? Just go. You enjoy yourself. Okay. I'll miss it. I'll miss it. Cynthia. Cynthia, what happened? What's wrong? Are you part of this? Or are you plan it together? What are you talking about? I was humiliated. How? First, there was no party. Two, Chief Desmond was not in Abuja. Uh -uh. Third, I was driven to a hotel room where Senator Omobowale was waiting for me. Senator Omobowale? Chief's friend? Yes. And then? I lost my pride. Your pride? Yes. I lost my virginity. And Senator said, I must not tell anyone, including you. If I do, I'll lose my scholarship. Although he helped us with our school fees, but in exchange, we were forced into all manner of sexual activities with him and his friends. Against our wish, we were used, molested, and threatened never to say a word to anyone. At the end of our education in the university, myself and my childhood friend, Cynthia, decided to take revenge on anyone that comes our way. And so, we began to blackmail, extort money from all manner of men. We had our way, we had influence and power. We amassed wealth through all of these terrible means. Until one day I came across a young man and as usual, I felt whoever I wanted, I can always get. But this man was different. In spite of all our schemings and sexual advances, he stood his ground. So, I begin to think in my heart, what is different about this man? Children of God, I'm talking about no other person except this man in front of you, Brother John. He stood his ground as a child of God. 
and will not yield to any of our harassment. Let me cut the story short. One fateful day, I heard God speak to my heart that I should come into this auditorium and I will meet with the source of his strength. And so that's how I gave my life to Christ, alone, right in this auditorium. And so that's how, I, how a former prostitute, a cheat and a liar, has been turned into a precious instrument in the hand of God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. My greatest joy through all of this experience is that Dr. Babatunde and Nurse Bisi, who helped in treating Brajon, all gave their life to Christ a few days ago. Praise the Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the opportunity to stand before the church of God today. I give all the glory to God Almighty for what he has done in my life. I am an example of somebody that was dead, but God in his mercy brought me back to life. My experience in the past few weeks has been a terrible one. But in her, the Lord glorify his name. I need to thank God for many people that God used in my life. First of all, my dear pastor, Pastor Joshua, I say thank you. I want to appreciate God for my pastor in UK, Pastor Timmy, and his wife. I appreciate a wonderful woman of God, a sister. My dear, beloved, Dickiness Rebecca. The Lord is good. All the time. I want to appreciate God for everyone, the, the pastoral. Many people prayed for me during my trial in UK, in Nigeria, in the US. But I need to appreciate somebody this morning that God used mightily. And that is Sister Patience. I really saw the move of God in her prayers. It was while she was praying for me that the Lord showed me a revelation, sent an angel to me to clean me up. I would have loved to be quiet, but there is something very important that I need to let everyone know today. And that was the letter that my wife left behind before she died. I want to crave your indulgence as I read the letter. My love, I am sincerely sorry for allowing the devil to use me. I was only trying to make us live a better life. Not knowing I was ignorantly walking into the trap of the devil. How I was supposed to be ambassador of Christ anywhere, everywhere, every time went to my dream greener pasture dining with the devil. If the opportunity arises, please tell our children Ayomide and Tebiluluwa and every Christian to hold fast to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and not to waver under any condition 
Because according to Proverbs 16.25, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end of it is destruction. Please urge them to discipline their bodies and keep them under subjection so that they will not be cast away from the kingdom of God. Please, let them also realize that this race towards heaven requires full dedication. And it is not how well one starts, but how well one finishes. My dear husband, I'm convinced within me, and I know you have fought a good fight. And you have kept the faith. I hereby pray that you will finish the race well in the mighty name of Jesus. I've asked God for forgiveness for dragging the body of Christ to shame. And I am praying with the remaining strength in me for him to grant me this request and show his mercy on me because what I am going through in this hell on this sick bed is not what I can wish my enemy to experience. My 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 heart is failing and I may go any moment from now. Please let Ayomide and Tevilulua and yourself find a place in your heart to forgive me. I love you. I know with the tone of this letter that she genuinely repented before dying. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church of God. In spite of all this, I still want us to give God a big hallelujah. Cynthia, what is it? <laughs> Cynthia, talk to me. What's going on? Can I also give my life to Christ? <gasps> oh my God! Oh, Pastor, Brother John, Cynthia, my friend Cynthia would like to give her life to Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> oh, Cynthia. <laughs> Wow, my sister, we thank God for your life. Uh, will you say this short prayer after me? Yes, sir. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Accept me as one of your daughters. Accept me as your daughter. Oh. Accept me as I am. Life of unity, life of salvation, life of peace and love, life of tribulations, but many are the afflictions of the righteous. But you promised to deliver So help me run the race The race of life Help me run the race Help me run the race Race of salvation Race of eternity 
help me run the race. Yeah, oh, yeah. Life of unity. Life of salvation. A life of peace and love